All right, guys, what we're going to do today is we're going to uh, simulate an engine out, and we're going to show you the procedures for an engine out and uh, what you do in a gyroplane if you have an emergency and you need to land. So let's say we were flying around here, and then all of a sudden, uh-oh, we lost our engine there. The first thing I want to do is I want to look for a landing area. I like that little flat spot at the Prado Dam right there. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, get our best glide speed, which is 60 miles an hour. So we're at 60, and I'm going to make sure I make the uh, Prado Dam. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I'm going to start troubleshooting. Did my mag shut off? Is my key off? I'm going to recycle stuff. If I can't do that, I'm going to maintain my best glide, keep my eye on my landing area, and I'm going to look for traffic. If you have time, you make a radio call to the nearest airport and say, hey, this is an emergency. I'm landing uh, out here with no power. Still have, keeping my eye on the landing area. Um, Don't see any traffic. Looks call. like we're in good shape. All right, so now I'm going to try to make the landing on the Prado yeah, Dam here. My airspeed's yeah, looking uh, good. My target is looking left good. Left Looks like I'm on. Uh, yellow, Pacer, one nine or Fox, for November, pulling short of one way two five for a left downwind departure to the south. So, uh, all right, we're descending here with a vertical descent. Kind of eyeballing how much we are. We know we're not going to be able to get our engine back. All right, so we're coming down to land. I'm going to get my speed back to 60. There's our 60 miles an hour. Looks like we're going to make the dam no problem. We'll get down close, and we're going to go ahead and take back off. Looks like we made a successful emergency landing. Climbing back out at 60 miles an hour is our best climb. Try not to hit all these power lines. Kind of put a damper on our day, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. There's a tower in front of us as well. I don't think we want to hit that either. And we're going to get us some altitude. Back at a thousand feet, climbing. Checking my radar, I don't see any traffic around us. Corona traffic yellow, Pacer, one niner, Fox Road, November's turning left crosswind off runway 25, Corona. Traffic set to 63 here, left to 85, Corona. 7 take a Fox, left down, went 25. All right, back to 1100 feet. Watching our traffic. Corona traffic. Making a couple of circuits. Pacer turning left downwind. Corona. Corona traffic. That's a 6 3 here. I don't see that. Now, some things you got to keep in mind is it depends on how much wind you have. You always want to try to land into the wind. So that's why I was landing to the west because our wind was coming out of the west a little bit, but it was pretty much nothing. If you have zero wind, you're going to travel farther than you think you will. A common tendency is for people just to overshoot their runway or shoot the landing area they're going for. So you really have to keep all that stuff in mind during the emergency landings. All right, let's check our traffic. Don't see anybody around here. And 5628 is ever taxing out the All right, looking good. All right, we're going to simulate another emergency. So we're going to have our, whoa, our engine just so shut down again. Hate it when it does that. Back. I'm going to check my landing area. That little uh, bike trail down there looks pretty good. I don't see any power lines with it. I'm, I'm going to start heading to it right now. Establish best glide, which is 60 miles an hour. I'm going to troubleshoot my instruments. Did I turn the mags off? Did I, I knee bump the key? And now I'm going to concentrate on my landing. I'm landing into the wind down the bike path. I'm a little steep on the target, so I'm going to vertically descend. I'm just going to come off back on the stick a little bit, come on down, I'm watching my speed. I'm at 20. Looking good. Looks like I got the back path made now. There are some power lines, but they're not too close to us. We're going to overshoot the power line. Coming down, I'm going to get my 60 miles an hour back again. So I'm putting the nose down. There's my 60 coming in on the bike path. Looks like we would have survived. So I'm going to go ahead and add power back again. And climb back out. Corona 
Alabama traffic, Yellow Pacer, one at Niner Foxfoot, November 3,500, Niner miles to the south. Last call, Corona. Golf courses are a nice uh, selection for emergency landings. Uh, nicely manicured grass, and you get those long straightaways. Um, of course, you'll have the golfers get irritated, but you let them know that you're going to replace your divots. <laughs> Okay, we're back at 1,000 feet. Do have some power lines in front of us, so I'm gonna make a turn to the left. That's one of the big things I'm mean, always, when you fly low to the ground during these simulations, always watch for power lines. Power lines are the big killer of uh, both us and helicopters, so we wanna make sure you're not gonna tag a power line. That would not be a happy day. And Chino Tower, Gyro 378, Whiskey X-ray over the Prado Dam, 1,300, and we're back inbound with X-ray. Left traffic, 26 right, 8, Whiskey X-ray. Okay, number 2, follow Cherokee, head of a downwind from the block. About a mile and a half from the 26 right, for the land. So two runways at Chino, there's 26 right and 26 left. And they're parallel runways. We're coming from the south, so we're coming up on 26 left. He cleared us for 26 right. So he said make left traffic for 26 right. So actually it's left traffic for 26 left as well. So we'll have to keep an eye out for, for 26 left traffic as well as 26 right traffic. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any comments about gyrocopters or uh, any questions about anything, or you want to see us show you how to do something in a future episode, uh, leave us a little comment below. Otherwise, adventure air. Woo!